Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Daxon here with Noxat.org. In this video, I wanted to kind of troubleshoot with you. Uh, I kind of have a story to go with this, actually, is why I'm making the video. The other day, I was at church, and they was wanting to show um, a PowerPoint presentation as part of the, the sermon this past Sunday. And um, I'm considered as the tech guy, really, there at church. When they have computer problems, I go up there. And as soon as I walked in the door on Sunday... I was trying to open up the PowerPoint and um, was having problems with it. So we finally got it all open, you know, to where the PowerPoint will work and everything. But what it turned out was with the screens was set to extended, which is what I use at home. And somehow the church laptop got set to extended when it should have been on mirror. Um, so, and like I said, I was really tired the morning and I was already running. I was like three or four minutes late to church anyway and but that turned out to be the problem and I felt really stupid about it but it's actually something really simple so what I'm gonna do is go over the different screen options when you're using two monitors or three and so on on your keyboard you'll find the Windows logo it should be down towards the bottom left of your keyboard hold on that and push P and you'll get these options pop up and I am on Windows 10 here now what you have is four different options, okay? The first one will show just this first screen. Duplicate will will duplicate or what I call mirror from the first screen. Everything you do on this screen is going to show on the second screen, which is what we wanted at the church since the laptop screen is small and then they have like the 50 inch flat screen TV for everyone to be able to see. We wanted everything going on on the laptop to show on the TV screen. Okay, but it was set to extend, which is what I use at home. If all I would have done there was try to drag like the PowerPoint over to the other screen, which my mind apparently was blank, um, we would have been good to go or think about changing these settings. But I thought it was on some different type of mode because all we was dealing with was PowerPoint. And then he tried to show a short video and that wasn't working either. So then I knew there was definitely something wrong. But this is, this is definitely how you can fix your screen problems also I've seen other people say um, I've never had the experience but sometimes like if you only have like your pointer showing up on your second screen everything else is black that would usually be like a driver issue or a power issue um, sometimes it could be RAM also but that screen needs enough power and your your computer C would be running more um, and then you have your second screen only which is only going to show your second screen but in the case of like a church where no one can see the laptop screen anyway besides whoever would be, you know, um, doing the PowerPoint, no one can see that laptop screen. So all we would want is the duplicate. We would just be worrying about, you know, making sure everything that's done on the laptop will duplicate over to the TV screen. And then here at home, I'll use the Extend because I like a really wide workspace. So say I can be um, doing code over here, working on a website, and then on the the other screen which unfortunately you can't see my other screen right now couldn't figure it out um, but then I would have like my actual website open so I could just refresh every time I change something on this side basically um, but that's all there is to that and then so far as video what we can do is first of all you can unplug and replug in whatever speakers you're using or you know, if it's built into the TV or, or your monitor, that's a different story. But if you're using outer speakers, unplug them, plug them in, you know, some basic troubleshooting like that. If you're still not having any um, good luck, come down to your little, your little audio settings. And you can right click on that. And you want to go to playback devices. And then you should have this box pop up right here. And then you would find, say if you're using a second screen and it's your TV, like in my case I was doing for the church, if the audio for some reason wasn't working, I could come, say, pretend that was that, and then set as default. If you're using some different type of audio, you know, say if it's a sound bar or something else, then you we would run that off of the TV. Those settings would be from the TV. The only thing my computer would be able to access, you know, is the sound directly into the TV because it can recognize that. But, you know, if you have like speakers, external speakers hooked up or a sound bar or something like that, then you would be going through the TV and making sure that's working properly. 
so far as your input you know like on sound bars there's a whole bunch of different input uh, lights that come on and off and things like that make sure you're on the right settings but anyway that should be it for this video hopefully i helped you out please like share subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all of my videos that i come out with you can also leave a comment if you got any questions suggestions or if i already helped you out you know i usually always try to reply to all the comments that are put on my videos so i definitely appreciate all that and also do not forget to check out my website noxad.org where everything is free and i'm just telling the truth thanks for watching and i'll see y'all later